Welcome. I hope that you are doing well. By the end of this video, you will be able to stretch or shrink the audio clips that you are working with in Audacity without changing the pitch. By doing this, you will be able to change the time or the beat of the music. And again, you will not change the pitch of the sound that you're working with. I will show you how to do this with a track or with a selection. Let's get started. So you'll want to have Audacity open. And I'm going to go ahead and open up a melody line of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And so to do this, I'm just going to import my audio. And again, you can be working with uh, several tracks at once, but I'm just going to show you how to do this with one track. Let me play this for you so you can hear the tempo that it is currently set at. So that gives you an idea of how fast the music is going. Now, if I would like to select all of this, the entire track, and change the tempo or stretch the sound to make it longer. So to select the entire track, I'm going to click on this area here, and that will select the entire track, or I can go up to select all. And then uh, once I have it selected, I'm going to go up to effect, and then there's change tempo. Now change speed will change the pitch as well. So you do not want to use that one. You want to use the change tempo if you want to keep the pitch the same. So this is a way that you can change it by percentage. Now, if you have it at 0%, that means it's going to be exactly the same when you're finished. If I go to the right here, that means I'm speeding up the clip, so it's going to be faster. And you can tell by looking at the length here in seconds. So right now, the, the current length is 18.56 seconds. And now you can see with going this direction, it's getting shorter. So I want to slow this down. And I'm going to slow it down in half. So let's go to 50%. And so that's going to be exactly uh, twice as long now. So I'm going to press OK. Now I want you to notice uh, there's a, a button here that you can use. I'm going to press OK so, so you can just hear what this sounds like, but I'll come back to this in a second. So it went ahead and rendered this at twice as uh, long now. And so now I'm going to go play it, and you can hear the, the change in tempo. OK, so you can hear there's some distortion that happened when I rendered that. So I'm going to undo this. So Control Z, and now I'm going back to the original uh, speed that I had. Now I'm going to select all of it again, and then I'm going to go to Effect and do the same thing, change tempo. But this time, uh, I'm going to click this button here, Use High Quality Stretching Slow. So I'm going to press OK, and this should help with that distortion. This is just it takes a little longer uh, when you are rendering the uh, tempo change. And so this is a short selection. You can see it's taking a while here. But uh, if it was a very large selection, it would take uh, even longer. So just keep that in mind when you're doing this. So now I've got it at the same tempo I had it before. But now let's take a listen to what it sounds like. Much better. So the distortion has uh, been mostly been taken care of. You could probably still tweak a couple of things with um, you know using a couple more effects uh, in the Audacity software. So that's the easiest way to stretch a segment that you want to have longer. Uh, let's say you wanted to shrink that down. Again, I'm going to undo this. So uh, again, I select the entire thing. Let's say I want to do a selection this time. So let's say I want to do half of it, and I wanted to uh, basically to select a part of it. You want to go up to this selection tool, click that, and then just start wherever you would like to start and then um, have it selected where you would like to be where you would like to select. So right here is where I would like to select the highlighted part is the part that's selected. You could also go up to the top and use the arrows too. So now I've got that selected. I want to make that faster. So I'm going to go to the change tempo. And now instead of going the uh, going slower, I'm going to increase this. So let's go twice as fast. So 50% would be twice as fast. And I'm going to press OK. So now uh, it's a go ahead and, and changing the speed. I'm going to go ahead and play this. And so now it's good. That went uh, much faster than it went before. So these are the easiest ways to stretch and shrink the selections that you're working with. Again, I did not change the pitch that I was working with. If you would like to change the pitch, you would just go up to the effect and then change speed. And then by doing that, it's going to change the pitch as well. So uh, that's the, the way you would do it without uh, if you wanted to change the pitch. Now, one last thing you can do is there's another effect on here that would make things super slow. And uh, you, you can find it, so you would select what you would like to change. So you can go up to Effect, and you would click on Pulse Stretch. And by doing this, you can do multiples of the length that it's currently at. So right now, it's got a stretch factor of 10. So this would make it 10 times as long. Um, let's do something like 5. And the time resolution, again, you could uh, play around with this to see what works best for you. Let's press OK. And so you can see it made it extremely long. And so you can take a listen to what this sounds like. So that has an effect built into it with as well as changing the speed. So that's a, a special kind of effect you could use. Uh, one last thing I want to point out. Let's say you were working with multiple tracks. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and import that uh, chords 
for the uh, Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So let's say I'm working with multiple tracks and I want to line these up. Uh, you can do that by pressing this uh, time shift tool and uh, so it will select each track and so now I can move this around so that I can line it up with the track uh, in the, on the top. And if I'd like to merge these together, you want to select both of them. And so I clicked in this section, press control, and then I selected everything. You could also, also press select all. And then you can go to tracks and then mix and then mix and render. And then if you would do that, it would mix those into one track that you could work with. Again, I'm gonna undo that so you can see both of these. Uh, if you're trying to get one section uh, moved around, uh, you wanna cut this up into a couple uh, sections. What you can do is uh, go ahead and go back to the uh, selection tool and then just, let's say that's where I wanted to cut the track. I would just click there and then press edit clip boundaries and then split. So now I've split that into two sections. And now what I can do is I can take the time shift tool, which I just showed you, and then I can move each section where I would like to move it. So that, that will help you a lot too with like figuring out the time between tracks. If you're trying to uh, make things longer or shorter, again, you can do the same effects with each section that you have highlighted or track. So you now know how to stretch or shrink the audio clips that you're working with in Audacity without changing the pitch. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments section below. I do my best to answer those. I have other Audacity tutorials available. I'll put links to them around this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. I thank you and I'll see you in the next video.